Shalom. I like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Uh, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is a video that I uh, saw, you know, and uh, you know on the internet here and um, you know on the group chat and they're talking and basically uh, this thing's real, man. Um, you know what they're doing unto uh, you know, especially uh, children, you know, uh, young vulnerable children. You know they're sacrificing them and uh, doing all kinds of things. I'm not gonna play it, but if you're if you see what's on the screen, you could find it. I think believe it's on uh, TikTok, you know, or it's on uh, it's on the web. So uh, type these things. I'm not gonna play it because it's very disturbing. But uh, there's nothing new under the sun, you know. You know, like this was going on, you know, during the days of, uh, you know, the sons of God, the sons of men, sons of the wicked. And uh, everything was happening now is uh, happening, you know, with all these nations and uh, they do all kinds of secret, you know, practices, you know, and uh, I'm going to get the scripture. Because... Uh, this is, there's nothing new under the sun. I believe it's uh, Ecclesiasticus. No, Wisdom of Solomon. If I could find it, Slakia. Um, just flat flowing in the spirit. I'm gonna see where the Rakakwa Dash is gonna lead. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be uh, not gonna be too long. Yeah, so uh, wisdom of Solomon, twelve. You know, even uh, you know, King Solomon, you know, the wisest uh, king of all kings, you know, and uh, he was very, you know, had wisdom, but uh, he got. Uh, Entice, you know, with the woman, you know, who uh, caused him to uh, sin and was doing all kinds of things, right? And so, uh, there's nothing new under the sun, you know, with the whole uh, Scottish Rite, you know, uh, you know, Freemasonry and all these things, what these people practice, you know, ultimately, like Jake was doing this stuff, you know, and, uh, Basically, all these other nations, you know, they were, you know, into this, um, th this type of worship, you know, where they're worshiping idols, you know, they're reverencing the sun, the moon, you know, uh, it is real. So I'm going to get uh, Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 1 for thy for thine uncorruptible spirit is in all things. Therefore, chasten thou them little and little that offend, and warnest them by putting them in remembrance, wherein they have offended, that they leave their wickedness, they may like, believe on thee, O Lord. Right? So, uh, you know, like, that's why we have to follow the steps of Yahawashai, which means he is savior, all right? And basically, he's the one who presented himself, you know, as a sacrifice, you know, you know, by, uh, you know, basically the, the, the two Roman soldiers who crucified him, you know, he, uh, you know, he was, a pre he was our sacrifice, you know, to redeem us the nation you know but you know first you know starting with his elect all right because the lord's not even dealing with the two-thirds and uh the undesirables of our nation the lord's only de dealing with his elect so the lord only died you know for the alexi you know so uh we're trying to walk in the steps of the savior you know which means he is savior which is yahweh 
wherein they have offended that leaving their wickedness that they believe on thee O Lord one second because this is uh you know these people are into all uh, types of occult magic you know tarot cards you know summoning uh spirits you know so uh we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers and spiritual wickedness in high high places you know as uh, i made a video on um gms uh Yasha Allah Bonyomin on that channel about um, you know this psychic psychic uh, stuff. Let me find it on. Uh, made a video on uh, YouTube. Yeah, the psychic attacks and spiritual warfare. You know, and basically uh, the Russians. You know, they have. Uh, you know these uh these kings you know they're really uh you know call upon spirits you know on the left hand and uh you know who's you know who's given them you know this technology with the you know to uh basically uh for war because this is us this is a spiritual war that we're in for it was thy will that destroy by the hand of our fathers both those old inhabitants of thy holy land right because uh you know the canaanites was dwelling in the land you know what we call israel or or yasha allah right or jerusalem right you know uh, which means city of peace yarashalam which means city of peace Right, so the 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 Hamite, the Canaanites, was inhabiting you know that land, you know until you know the mighty Joshua he uh, he came, you know, and we you know because basically Moses you know basically uh, the um, you know our people the two thirds up you know back then you know was in the wilderness for forty that was for um that for forty uh, years. You know walking in circles all right so the lord he had to destroy a lot of the uh, the people who weren't worthy you know like to enter uh, like to come into the land right so after the death of moses joshua rose up and uh you know and we took you know we uh we had many wars you know in that in that region you know of canaan you know um, Jericho, you know, read the book of uh, Joshua. Who thou hatest for thou, like for doing the most odious workers, works of witchcraft and wicked sacrifices, you know. So this is what these people are involved in, you know. A lot of wickedness, you know, child, child uh, smuggling, you know a lot of things right and uh these police these different agencies uh you know from the government um you know military you know they're all involved you know from high to the low to uh teachers you know to all uh manner of society you know basically because to be a part of uh you know the whole uh the whole cloak you know the whole uh masonry or whatever you know that like you have to do all kinds of things like to level up all right so the, the higher you go the the more wickedness you know so um in order to be a 33rd degree you know like you know like you know like you have to do all kinds of wickedness man you know and this is what they do they practice you know occult uh magic like this is what they uh really practice
because this is what they want to do you know like they want to have order out of chaos you know and uh you know so uh these people they're all on code they speak with uh different symbols body language you know they practice all kinds of uh wickedness man you know and uh you know like that's why the lord's gonna come in on our behalf right who's gonna stand up all right because uh it's gonna get so bad we're gonna get daniel uh 12 and 1 lord's will and also those merciless murderers of children and devourers of man's flesh and the feast of blood and this is what these people practice man you know with the whole i can't even say it but the whole the whole other chrome or, or well, i don't even want to say it but basically you know like this is what they do you know they do all kinds of things that the land which thou esteemest above all might receive a worthy colony of god children right so this shows you the people in the land right now you know in the state of israel you know like they're doing all kinds of things man you know childhood uh, child uh you know sacrifice all kinds of things you know um you know so-called uh, um kosher pig you know uh you know pink city you know so it shows you that these people they're not they're chosen you know and a lot of these people they you know like they go both ways you know which that's totally off man nevertheless even those thou even it's like even those thou spares as men and did this send was uh it says forerunners of the of thine host to destroy them by little by little and that's what's going on you know the heavenly father is bringing a lot of pests a lot of uh, floods earthquakes you know a lot of supernatural like supernatural disasters you know that that um uh, you know it are uh, the certain things that can't be explained you know um when i get another scripture the souls of men things in revelation souls of men I believe slaves because uh this whole uh, this whole uh economy this whole system that we live under you know is uh through our captivity man get revelation 18 and 3 but i'm gonna get uh joel 3 Joel 3 and I started at uh, 3 I started at 1 Joel 3 and 1 for behold in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem so Judah you know um, the southern kingdom you know which being uh, Judah Benjamin Levi all right and Jerusalem which be the 10 tribes that are here in the Americas all right and and i will bring them i will also gather them i will gather all nation and will plead i will bring them down into the valley of jehoshaphat which means yahweh's judgment right and i will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage israel right because um you know what's gonna happen you know during that area the what they call the fertile crescent you know with iran uh, israel saudi arabia that whole region there's going to be a great war all right and uh, there's going to be a lot of destruction here in the west right of america all right let me read uh, ezekiel 38 you know about the bear you know uh, about about magog you know and um you know certain nations like the BRICS nation which have been uh, brazil russia um 
India, China, and uh, South Africa. You know, this is a serious thing. We're in prophecy, man. You know, so this there's gonna be a a, a war against the West, right? And uh, there's gonna be a war. You know, that's gonna uh, you know that that's gonna kick it off, man. And I will plead with them there for my people, for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nation and part of my land, right? And that's why that whole state, you know, they call this state of Israel, right? Because they don't even have the whole land of Israel. You have Lebanon there, West Bank, you know, you have, uh, you know, Palestine, you know. And uh, even though some of our people are scattered amongst them, right? Because some of our people went back. You know, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, even though the Lord, he's uh, thinking, uh, Matthew, he said, uh, we shall not enter into the cities of, uh, you know, like of Jerusalem until the Son of Man come, right? So, you know, so we're waiting for the Lord to come, you know, and, um, you know, there's going to be a great war, all right? But now, fast forwarding now, or, or uh, going back, all right, this is a uh, you know like this already happened you know the transatlantic slave trade, and they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for an harlot, and sold a girl for wine, that they may that they might drink right, and uh, you know basically the Africa the Hamites you know and also some of our people in West Africa, some of our uh, the kings you know like um, Ashanti, the Hussa. Um, you know, some of our people, you know, were uh, involved in the slave trade, like the Portuguese, the British, you know, because some of our people were still in power, had the authority, you know, um, you could also, uh, I made some videos about it, you know, um, it said the, it said the rich has gotten through the slave trade. All right, that's a good one. And then uh, slavery in Canada and the Portuguese Empire, right? All right, those are some good books or some good uh, videos to uh, check out. All right, and because um, it's very vast, man, you know, and uh, you watch movies like uh, Goodbye, Uncle Tom, um, Roots, Mandingo, 12 Years of a Slave, uh, Django, it shows you these things. Yay, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidane, all the coast of Palestine, right? So, uh, you know, the people in that land now are the, the other Ishmaelites, you know, who's dwelling in those land, you know, and they were involved in the slave trade as well, all right? And as well as, um, you know, the Hamites and the, and, and the tooth, and, and basically, uh, the, the kings, you know of uh west certain certain kingdom in west africa you know that was involved in the slave trade and all the coasts of palestine so ishmael will he render me a recompense and if he recompense me swiftly and speedily will i return your recompense upon your own head so these are things that's gonna happen man all right and uh, that's why you know a lot of those uh west african kings you know like they know that who they are or whatever but you know like you're gonna have to give that to uh you know to you have to like you're gonna have to get that like you're gonna have to give those riches to you know to Yahawashai, you know king david you know the 12 and then the elect all right all right because uh you inherited a lot of wealth all right esau Esau's fat man. Esau's going through uh, Yukon territories all over, you know, and they're getting a lot of uh, resources, not gold, silver, whole bunch of different things. Congo, they have our people doing all kinds of mining, you know, Sierra Leone. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temple my goodly pleasant things. All right, so during the, you know, during that Babylon captivity, you know the you know the Hamites came and, and and they and they led us into captivity, you know and like and you know um that like Esau was a forerunner, he that like, he was involved in it too, all right and uh, basically, um 
you know, like pouring us out, you know, and was uh, and was you know was Confederate back then, all right, and and this is what they're doing now, all right, and that's why um, you know, these other nations, you know, they uh, you know that like, uh, that they give them good job, that they give them you know, um, you know these gas stations, um, these beauty salons, you know, all these stuff, you know, but Jake. You know these liquor stores and all these stuff you know but they don't um you know everything what they do is to uh, you know oppress us you know they give us bad food you know chinese food uh popeyes all these different w wickedness man the children of judah and the children of jerusalem have you sold unto the grecians or so shows you who are who are show you who the grecians are all right we read the first maccabees one all right you know like that was their uh, you know like that was esau's time you know like to come up you know with uh you know uh prince what's it called philip alexander alexander and um you know and then alexander um like the great right watch that movie that you might remove them far from their borders right so it shows that these same uh, these same grecians are romans you know like they have us in ca captivity still you know and uh that's why the lord's gonna judge them all right because what they have did unto god chosen people he said touch not my he said um he said that where the apple of the heavenly father's eye Behold, I will raise them out of the child of the place whether ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your son and your daughter into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off. All right. So we know that the Sabians, you know, which have been, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, they're, you know, they're, you know, that they're gonna be taskmasters, you know, who's gonna. Um, you know put esau in check and these certain nations right when they're probably like those um kushite type type people right the sabians i believe in um uh, of kush right? or uh, ethiopia right or sheba the people of nation so been basically uh the people of the nation of sheba which have been uh, like ethiopia you know uh somalia So there's going to be a recompense against okay, Revelation 18 and then I'm going to close. It's a very good chapter. I guess Revelation 18 and um start uh 10 revelation 18 10 standing afar off for the fear of the of her torment saying alas alas that great city bablan which means confusion all right you know that this city bablan referred to america all right because this is the you know like this is the light of the world you know the land of milk and honey you know like milk and money you know gold oil drugs you know, that um, um, that this is what this kingdom is established upon. That it said that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. So it's gonna only take the Lord and the and his angels one hour to destroy. It, all right, and uh, they have they you know like they have this technology with the whole ICBMs. You know, this is uh, the Heavenly Father. He inspired them, you know, like to create these things, right? I think it's Isaiah 54 it says that I have created the smith, you know, and says that no weapon is, you know, is going to form. And it's going to prosper, you know, against his elect, right? So this is, uh, it's going to take the Lord only one hour when he comes, right? Second Ezra 13 and 1 goes into that as well. And that the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buy 
their merchandise anymore so uh you know all these uh you know all these franchises you know these malls and you know their whole uh like their whole enterprise with their whole uh uh wall street you know your uh your toronto uh you know stock market you know all that's gonna go down man you know and especially what's going on what's gonna happen with america with that stock you know when that stock market's gonna crash because it's gonna be great destruction just like what happened uh um like september 11 2001 you know um you know i basically uh i was in uh, i was in the states i was in uh i was in the bronx or whatever and basically uh i think i, I would I probably would have been like uh probably like 12 or 13 and basically um you know i left like basically i i i, I came back to uh, like to canada or whatever so i came back whatever so uh, i came back on i think on a sunday and then i think uh what the thing what happened uh september i think was uh, on a monday or tuesday and it happened uh i seen what was going on and you know i probably like it happened early man you know and basically uh for a couple hours or whatever there was uh, the towers that uh so-called hit the like hit this towers the planes hit the towers and basically uh like they said oh oh the fire you know the the um the towers came you know that basically it was i feel it was a control it was a controlled demolition basically all right because uh they had uh the two towers and then they had another tower there all right so with three and then i think uh a plane you know over the pentagram um, i mean over like the pentagon whatever so um all these things was controlled man you know but basically um you know with uh you know we see that you know they have uh these whole nuclear you know like capabilities you know they have uh the russia they have a missile called uh satan one satan two um i don't know i think america or israel one of them or china they have a missile called uh, moab you know so uh you know it, like this is going to take w only one hour for this place to go man you know so um everything what people is going to be you know building and and try to uh because right now that like, we're living in a rat race man so we, like so we can't get comfortable you know like with the fears of this life because uh things everything that we this like how we're living is just temporary man all right like we're hoping to get immortality when the lord comes all right so we could have that tree of life again so the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and pearls and fine linen all right so these things are you know uh elder uh jeremiah you know of uh gms history of yaquab he made a video about you know about linen and his precious um you know is is precious qualities you know because right now this whole uh fabric that we buy has all mixed fabric and whole bunch of uh synthetic you know material man you know you know you know but these people are living fat man you know sil they have precious silver you know stones you know these people are living fat and silk and scarlet and dying wood and all manner of vessels ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood right you know canada very uh known for a lot of wood you know for having good wood all right and of brass iron and marble you know and uh you know they call uh you know hamilton you know like steel city you know they have a lot of uh a lot of uh, warehouses you know and basically uh you know 
you know um, um you know like these are like things that's like here but you know america they have all kinds of different uh manner of uh trade and commerce man that these people are making making billions or trillions every year man and of uh, brass and iron and marble all right so marble and uh, um uh squ what do you call it quartz you know they're living fat man and cinnamon and older all right and ointment and frankincense right so this whole you know this perfume and different oils wine and and oil and a uh, fine flour and wheat and the uh, beasts and sheep so yeah so of uh livestock everything you know that the people are living fat man you know it says uh the earth's given to the hand of the wicked but right now we see what's going on right there's no that there's going to be no middle class right now you know you know 2023 like you're like you're, like you're only gonna have rich or wealthy versus poor there's not going to be no in between but basically you know after this destruction man like you know like you know all their uh like all their goodies is gonna come to a halt man and it's gonna go to the rightful owners right because uh it says that it says for esau is the end end of the world and jacob's beginning of it that fall with so we're seeing like we're going to see a wealth transfer in our lifetime and uh it's going to be amazing you know and it's going to be trading places man and sheep and all horses and chariots and slaves and souls and men right so this is what these people are involved in man you know um you know of uh you know sex trafficking child trafficking you know all kinds of different types of traffic man you know that all these governments and uh you know agencies police uh courts you know they're they're involved in a lot of things man wickedness man and that's why you know like you know like yahweh shai is gonna stand up and the fruits that thy soul lusteth after are departed from thee and all thy and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee and thou shalt find them no more at all the merchants of those things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment and weeping and wailing so all these nations you know who uh you know who making a lot of profit you know through uh you know the stocks and all that you know and uh, through trade you know it, like there's going to be no trade on that on this land you know once this uh this third woe is going to sound all right because ultimately we're approaching the time of uh, the third world, right? World War Three. And alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stone and pearls. For in one hour, so great riches is come to not even every shipmaster, right? To their uh, yachts, you know, um, their tanks you know all their different uh you know their uh you know their boats you know you know that's gonna come to not man that's gonna be burnt up so the elements are gonna burn with i think first peter so the elements are gonna uh melt with fervent heat and the uh, and all the company of ships and sailors as many as trade by the sea stood afar off right so uh you know all these uh you know all these ships you know you know that has a lot of uh you know a lot of goods or whatever you know like they're not gonna be able to uh you know like to go you know and to uh exchange because there's gonna they're gonna be a great destruction man all right so uh you know like these nations are going to start from scratch right and basically the elect is going to ob obtain all the wealth all the riches all right and the dainties of this world again man 
So with that, let us all praises do unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakodash, which means um, the Holy Spirit. All right, Rakakodash. So um, hopefully this video was edifying. Uh, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect, the honors of the apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I learned this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect again. Um, hopefully this video is edifying. Uh, shalom.